Hi there again, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here again my channel. Here's another budget-friendly DIY for you. Another project for you that's a, like an upcycle of something like a trash-to-treasure thing that I'm doing right now. Theme. This, this is project number two. So this is a paper towel roll insert that I am measuring right now. It's four and a half inches long and I am going to make my own napkin rings. Yep, instead of throwing away this, I can use this to make my napkin rings and four and a half, I'm just plotting it in the ruler to divide it into four equal sizes. So just mark it off. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to be cutting it. And that's the reason why I have this trivet here just to protect my desk and so that I don't scratch it. And I am just going to use this sharp cutting knife or, or blade so that I can cut them all in equal sizes. And I'll fast forward from here. a yard each for each ring uh, of grow grain ribbon so you can choose any ribbon the good thing about ribbons they come cheap the Dollar Tree sells them for a dollar each sometimes Michaels will just do a clearance of them not just a dollar but sometimes they sell like 50 cents each roll and that's when I stock up so I have quite a few here so I've chosen orange for fall and I'm gonna do two rings in orange and then two in brown the same material just different colors of ribbons so as you could see i am just wrapping each each cardboard ring uh, i'll put the glue first and then i just wrap it kind of like in a diagonal way to add interest and depth so I think that one was a little short because of the way I folded it. So maybe you want to give a little extra and then just cut later. So what I did here is I added another inch, inch and a half of, of ribbon. And then I got this on clearance for 50 cents from Michael's $1.50 bin. And I like it. It's a bling to embellish my uh, ribbon on and it looks beautiful that way so again I'm just gonna be wrapping all of this and I'll show you the finished product another one that I am repurposing or recycling or upcycling this empty can of Deca wafer roll I hold this a lot I, if you are familiar with my holes when I go to Ross or Michaels I'm sorry when I go to Ross or Marshalls I often hold this wafer rolls my husband loved them so when we're lined up to pay my daughter and I would look and say oh we gotta buy that this one but of course it's not only him all of us love it so what I'm doing here is I'm using felt paper that I got from the Dollar Tree I got a roll for about a dollar and of course it's the Dollar Tree right so again I picked the orange color and what I'm doing here is I just kind of trying to measure it I cut it roughly uh, with uh, about an inch overlap and what I'm doing here is I just want to make sure that it lines up with the bottom I don't want to fold because it may not even out so I just want to take advantage of the bottom so that I can also uh, adjust my felt from the top so I'm marking at least another half an inch that will be the fold that I will glue around so this is a simple DIY but I'm just giving you an idea that you can cover it also with decorative paper if you have extra paper from uh you know scrapbooking 
or whatnot you can use that too but i just chose this felt because the color is so vibrant and it's bigger so you don't really need to roll two different papers just to make one so and i like the soft touch of felt so this is just one roll if you use the 12 by 12 decorative paper then you will use more you can also use gift wrapping paper especially if you're just using silk flowers to to make this as a vase and right now i'm using this uh, to make a vase out of this and i'm going to be using faux or silk flowers and if you want to use real flowers because you can just make sure you put in a separate glass jar um, or a glass uh, the water so that it doesn't wet your paper and be careful when you are loading of course the the flowers and again i'm just going to be using the silk flowers that i got from the dollar tree so i will just be folding this again with my handy dandy hot glue gun I am just sticking it onto the can and then I am not going to dab glues all around just the edge to where it connects and I am going to dab the glue again to close it so not the whole thing just a dab here and there just to keep it in place because I will be decorating it later so now I'm folding the top to get a good finish and then also uh, attaching it with glue to the inside of the tin can this one you may have to put glue on on all the edge you know around so that it doesn't come off easily again especially if you're going to be putting real flowers and the moisture from the water when it gets wet it may damage it so uh, better uh, play it safe and put glue all around uh, on the perimeter or the edge now I'm adding this brown grow grain ribbon just so that it can cover that unfinished end so it kind of gives it a finished edge to it and then I am going to be putting more than just one strip of ribbon so you just kind of kind of do an approximation here just make sure you have at least half to an inch overlap so that you can fold it and that's where you attach the glue so you can see here and then you will just kind of stretch it a little bit make sure it's straight and then just dab the glue on the ribbon the reason why I'm <laughs> suggesting on the ribbon because I've done this project before that if you put it on the felt and then it's not lined up it's gonna be crooked and then you're gonna reattach it and the felt is gonna be damaged so just put it on the ribbon instead of putting the glue on the felt itself so it's like you can see here again I am not putting glue all that length of that ribbon just uh, probably three separate areas there just to hold it in place because again there's something that will hold it in place later on that I'm going to be adding so I'll just fast forward from here the two finished projects the flower vase that I made out of an empty chocolate wafer can wrapped in felt paper and ribbons 
and my napkin rings that I created from an empty roll of toilet paper. If you need to make or create more napkin rings at a given time, you can use also the empty roll of paper towels because they're longer. You probably can, you can probably yield uh, double the size or the numbers of what I've created here. So I hope I inspired you to create your own beautiful centerpiece and accessories for your Thanksgiving table by reusing items that are normally destined for the trash. So even with a tight budget, you can create a very warm and inviting Thanksgiving table. So thanks for watching. Hope you watch again my next videos, especially the DIYs that I have lined up for you. Have a great day everyone!